guys welcome to my channel so today in our one drug in three minute series we are gonna study about rifampicin if you are new to the channel then please do subscribe for more such amazing and creative videos and uh, don't forget to connect me on instagram and facebook where we post daily image based questions which can really help you with your preparation so any further ado let's get started in the pharmacokinetics of rifampicin, first of all, rifampicin is a bactericidal drug, okay? It acts by inhibiting DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Rifampicin undergoes enterohepatic circulation and is partly metabolized in liver. Metabolites are colored and they can cause orange discoloration of the urine and the secretions. So, this is a peculiarity of uh, rifampicin, okay. Rifampicin also causes orange staining in contact lenses. It is eliminated mainly in feces and it can be used safely in renal dysfunction. Guys, pay attention to this point because uh, MCQ mein kahi baar aa jata hai ki which anti-tubercular drug is uh, safely given in renal failure cases. So that would be our rifampicin, okay. Food interferes with the absorption, therefore it must be given empty stomach. It uh, penetrates all the membranes including blood-brain barrier and placenta. It is only bactericidal drug which is active against dormant bacteria, which means the bacteria which are inactive state in our caseous lesion. So this is the only bactericidal drug among the antitubercular group which is active which is active on our caseous lesions maximum dosage of uh, rifampicin is 600 milligram per day okay here you can see the 450 milligram capsule okay depending upon the stages of tuberculosis uh, clinician prescribe it okay but the maximum dose is 600 milligram it is most effective and fastest acting drug in leprosy and also as prophylactic drug for meningococcal and staphylococcal carrier state. So apart from TB, it is also used in uh, these three conditions. Rifampicin is an inducer of drug metabolizing enzyme and it enhances the metabolism of many drugs, which means in the presence of rifampicin, all these four group of drug, their action is decreased. So question exam mein direct nahi hata, okay how the question will be asked is a patient is suffering from aids and he or she is on antiretroviral therapy okay and he also develops tuberculosis so so which of the following should be avoided in him so you have to remember rifampicin should be avoided in antiretroviral drugs oral anticoagulants such as warfarin oral contraceptives or anticonvulsant okay Rifabutene is a derivative of rifampicin, so it is used in tuberculosis in AIDS patient. Okay, rifampicin we don't use it because uh, it increases the metabolism of antiretroviral drug. But in the replacement of rifampicin, we can use rifabutene. Its side effect is it causes pseudojaundice. Flu-like syndrome is seen more when rifampicin on alternative days. Okay, if we give rifampicin continuously, daily, then such symptoms are less. But if we prescribe it on alternative days, then flu-like symptoms are more. Female on oral contraceptive should either increase the dose of the pill or use alternative method of contraception. Why? Because rifampicin increases the metabolism of oral contraceptives. Okay. And a patient on warfarin therapy should be shifted on unfractionated heparin or low molecular weight heparin if rifampicin is being used. Similar reason. So guys, stay tuned for more such videos and to, and to continue with our one drug in 3 minute series. Thank you.